And that's what we're going to do this week. Dino will take you in and around in Selayang. And I'll be taking you to one of the most exciting diner and clothing store there is in Solaris Dutamas. So all this and more, as usual, only on, on NRLT. Thanks for tuning in to Astro Awani. You're watching In Real Team with Melina Wati Adnan. We are back in this exciting segment because we have an exciting place to tell you about. Where can you find a place that offers good food, good clothes and bicycle? Where else? But in Switchblade and here is the man who's responsible for bringing all the fun and excitement here in Solid Dutamas, Asep Ahmad. Thank you so much, Asep, for making the time. Hey, thank you so much, Melina, <laughs> for coming by. Eh? Okay, I feel a little underdressed because <laughs> I'm wearing my working clothes and you guys are telling all this rock and roll stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, what's the inspiration? I think the inspiration is essentially uh, the lifestyle, mm -hmm. uh, subculture, rockabilly, that's, uh, that's an American thing mm -hmm. and uh, we wanted to capture that and bring it down to KL. Okay, and I see a lot of reds, a lot of excitement, uh, I heard that red makes you hungry. So, <laughs> what's, what was the concept and uh, the style of this uh, diner and clothing store? It's, uh, it's everywhere around you, it's essentially... Um, it's essentially rockabilly. Mm -hmm. uh, rockabilly, like I said, is a subculture. It started out in the 50s, 60s mm. with the hot rods, with pinstriping, with uh, rockabilly music, a kind of surf with electric guitars on it. So if you look around you, you can see all the elements that uh, make it that. It's mm -hmm. rockabilly. Uh, 110 percent. Yeah, but yeah. it has that raw, you know, yeah. raw but yet decent feel to it. More of like a subtle industrial look. Okay. Uh, well, essentially, it's uh, a working man's place. Okay. All right, that's where you see the industrial aspect of it. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to make it fast food, but good food. Uh, it's uh, we make our own burger patties, we make our own pizza dough, uh, pizza bases, salad dressings, etc. And uh, we wanted to compile all that and have it in one place. It's okay. a true lifestyle experience. Mm -hmm. As you walk through our door, uh, it's rockabilly red, it's uh, fresh food, served fast, mm -hmm. and the bicycles come in because <laughs> Um, nobody else is doing it. Okay. And we wanted to inject that healthy living into our uh, subculture experience. Mm -hmm. So I believe you have great passion, bicycles, yes. clothing and food. Yeah, it's, it's, it's those three items. Yeah. Okay. Uh, food makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bicycles makes me lose the weight. All and right. the clothes, I guess, makes me look good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with all these things happening, mm -hmm. I believe it will be a great challenge in putting all this together? It is. It is uh, it's a challenge. Uh, again, getting the right look for uh -huh. one, getting the right products, uh, getting uh, the guys and girls to work for us uh, to have that passion. Mm -hmm. But uh, the challenges uh, to me is uh, it's not really a challenge, it's, it's inspirational. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, we've covered that and we're just looking forward to uh, things coming. Are we positive? Okay, so yeah. what would you say your favorite spot in this uh, My favorite diner? spot would be the uh, dining area that we have okay. in the back, the uh -huh. booth, and with the mural, because that mural is uh, an expression of myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got friends' cars out there on the mural, <laughs> I've got uh, my favorite stars, my favorite uh, graffiti artists, mm -hmm. it's all that. So the mural and the dining area, again, is my favorite. Then how, how would you say, how long have you been here? Uh, we've been open since June 15, mm -hmm. so about four, five months, six months or so. Alright, so it's been alright. Yeah. So how was the response? I it's believe? been phenomenal, response has been fantastic. Uh, uh, our best selling item is our six bunnies, mm -hmm. which are for babies, mm -hmm. kids. So we got a lot of people coming in here for uh, gifts and they want to get some for their kids as well. because. I think uh, it's something different from what the market offers. Mm -hmm. The diner has been fantastic. I guess you can't go wrong with uh, a grass-fed Australian steak. <laughs> yeah, you, know? you never can go wrong yeah, with that. Yeah, uh, homemade uh, burger patties, chicken burger patties, uh, pasta again. So uh, that's been phenomenal. And now it's just creating the direction on where do we go next from here? Because mm -hmm. everything's been fantastic so far. So where do you go next from here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, moving forward, I think uh, we're going to be more focused. Uh, the clothing line will uh, expand mm -hmm. uh, uh, in terms of uh, availability, distribution. So we want it to. We want to make it more accessible. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a niche market item, we want to make it more accessible. 
In terms of food and the FMB side, we're going to expand definitely. We're looking at maybe uh, two or three venues uh, outside of where we are now at Solaris Duta mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, well, I think uh, KL is ready for this. They want a new, uh, uh, different take to life. Yeah. Okay, coming back to ID a little. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, this uh, diner, clothing store, mm -hmm. screams your personality yeah, okay. and, and probably uh, the rest of your friends. Yeah, yeah. But if, you know, someone would be interested to have this whole raw, rock and roll industrial look at yeah. home, what would your advice be? My advice would be to go with bold colours, mm -hmm. yeah, trim it with a bit of gold, uh, uh, have a bit of black to it, and uh, I think that combination will have its screaming. And uh, to accentuate all that, go with a bit of history, mm -hmm. uh, some uh, knickknacks from the 50s or 60s or things that you like. If you're a Bon Jovi fan, for example, you know, get something from mm -hmm. them, have it on the wall. So I think that would create the look that you're mm -hmm. after. So, in doubt, if in ever you have any doubts on how to make your, your, your house or your room into an industrial look, you can always come here to Slory de Tasmas and pay a visit to Switchblade. You can meet Asep here <laughs> and he would be more than happy to give you advice. Thank you so much, Asep. Hey, thank you so much, Lina. That's all the time we have for this segment. We'll see you again on the next segment.